Hey guys, how's it going today? This is Flood Mom 14 here. And uh, today is actually Sunday, March. Uh, yeah, this first part is just going to be kind of an update video. Uh, you, you, know, you guys know how we do on the channel by now. Really informal. Um, but we're going to do some Soul Calibur 2. Um, uh, real quick, I'm going to get some water and I'll be right back. Um, one main thing I wanted to tell you guys is... Uh, it's not really much of a story, but I just got out of church recently, and, um, pretty cool. Uh, I've actually been going back lately. Uh, it's been really good for me, uh, personally and spiritually and that kind of stuff. Now, really quick, I'm sure you guys know by now at this point, but let me just say it. I don't really judge people based on their faith. I'm not quick to, I'm not really, you know, quick to judge. Um, oh, also, great thing. I found out about my videos. I finally, thank God, I finally found out what the issue was with my cell phone videos. Like, why it wasn't recording. The ringer was all the way down. Because I recently had a failed recording, a, a bonus episode of Dawn of Destiny. Uh, unfortunately, so I did have another failed recording. But on that failed recording... Yeah, my ringer was down because I was just like, oh, I don't want someone to call me. And no, 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 the ringer has to be all the way up. So that's why, you know, that first round of commentary with Dawn of Destiny, that's why it failed. I finally figured it out. So, whoo, you know, don't have to worry. Oh, man, my cell phone, heads or tails, it might record my voice, it might not. No, 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 fool. Turn your ringer all the way up. Ain't nobody gonna call you anyway, so... <laughs> well, they might, but... C c especially since today's Sunday, but... Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more water real quick, and I'll let you guys listening to the menu theme of Civilization 3. Yeah. Rumble, young man, rumble. Oh! I don't know if anyone actually heard that on video or not, but I was like, how you doing? I yelled it all the way from the kitchen. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, actually, last night, Saturday, around, you know, 3 or whatever, that was the time for daylight savings time. <sighs> Excuse me, you know, the time change and all. So, actually, last night, I, I, I mean, I'm sure I'm just like a lot of you guys. And I'm going to talk about this while I'm uh, changing this over with my HDMI. But yeah, I'm sure I'm a lot, a lot like you guys. Oh wait, I don't need to change it over to my HDMI, right? Right, well, no, no, I don't need to because this is just with commentary. So. But I'm sure I'm a lot like you guys in that, uh, yeah, probably lost some sleep last night, huh? Yeah. Oh, I love this theme, man. Maybe I'll just vlog, do this for a vlog video. This is, um, Stars Full, right? Pretty sure that's the name of this. Smashful. Yeah, Stars Full, the last three here. Smashful, Stars Full, and Techno are all the, um, future. It's like when you get to the future technology age in civilization. Well, basically, the last, the, the last age, the height of the 19th century. I mean, the 20th century. And going into the 21st century, you'll usually get this theme. You usually get this theme about the year 1950 AD, so it's really awesome. This has got to be one of my favorite. Oh, I'm just going to sit back and listen to this, guys. I mean, sorry for the long intro. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you guys a time. You know, if you're just listening for the update. We'll start SoCal 2 at 5 minutes. Well, 6 minutes and 14 seconds. How about that? 6 minutes and... Ooh. Because I just love this song so much. I could just dance to this song, man. I'm actually dancing right now behind the camera like... Oh, I'd love to play trombone to this song. Oh 
I wonder if that's actually the right notes. <laughs> could be. Could be like B flat and anyway. Oh, this song would be so fun to play on trombone, man. I mean, because you just hold it like this and you're like. That's that's right where it is, man. I just get all the notes. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. That'd be so fun. Woo! <laughs> yeah. So sorry if you're looking for, you know, a professional video. But we don't do that here at this channel. This channel is ran by DC's competitor. And all we run is Brilliant Fusion, Brilliant Fusion, and Chaos Max Dragon. Magic Cylinder, Jar of Greed, and we run Unprofessionalism on Floodmon 14's channel. And I'm going to get out of here. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Alright, 614. Are we at that? Yeah, we are, actually. I thought we were. So, uh, I wish I could leave it playing, but I can't. Sorry, Smash Fool, I have to stop you. Yugi no! Alright, so we'll stop that. And let's go to the Maybe I should cut the video here. Oh, am I even on the right profile? Dude, the fails in this video, like uh, I might just make this an update and vlog video. I didn't want to do that today, but yeah, the fails are real. I'm pretty sure because I'm on flood month 16, I'm pretty sure that is the wrong profile. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, yeah. We know that. Maybe I'm on the right profile. I don't know. Bandai. Namco. This game is presented by Namco. Why would you Nam stay when you can Namco and Namco with Pokemon Go? Only on the Nintendo. Yeah, there's no data. Uh, yeah, no. Let's see. Return to the menu. So obviously I'm on the wrong profile. So let's sign out. Oh gosh, was I on Skull Flood? Was I on Skull Flood? I man, I know I wasn't on this one. Like there's no way. There's no way I re would restart this file. So I'm gonna guess <laughs> Fuka <Lai> Jones. <laughs> That's my cousin Nelson's profile. Fun fact. Um, I'm gonna guess I was on Skull Flood, hopefully. Eh, okay. Uh, Weapon Master. Now, one thing I did notice, um, yeah, you might have noticed that part one with the commentary was, uh, cut off. Oh, wow, really? Okay, well, um, anyway, let's just put in our name again. Yeah, uh, I actually... Like, had recorded part two, like, transferred it to my computer and everything, but for some reason, um, yeah, you remember how I was telling you guys, like, oh, sometimes I'll transfer the file, but it won't transfer all the way? Like, I had wanted to record, yes, I had wanted to record, like, you know, four or five, uh, SoCal's to start, so... Oh uh, yeah, and there's the opening. I could read it in the epic voice again, but you guys saw that part one, so we'll, we'll skip the epicness for now. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, I had, uh, yeah, I had basically just transferred like four or five videos to, you know, my, uh, main, my, uh, tower computer that's in the, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh room back there. And, um, yeah, uh, the one... All the other videos transferred fine, but for some reason, part two, not part one, so I was glad part one was cool on the transfer, but for some reason, part two, with the commentary of SoCal, it didn't transfer, so... And fun fact, one thing, because of that, I figured out one thing that can happen, I never thought this was actually possible, but you can actually fail this first mission. I was just like, what? There's no way that should be possible, because all it is is a training mission, right? 
But no, you can fail this first mission. How? It times out. It yeah, because <laughs> like, uh, that's that's what happened is because um, uh, my phone became full, you know, at one point, and um, uh, yeah, it just it it just you know it just timed out. Um, and then it was like mission failed. I'm like, what? You can fail this mission? Like, are you serious? But yeah, regular probing grounds. I think we've already read this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I remember, like, <laughs> being like, like, HALT! You who seek mastery! Yeah, yeah, I remember. So we've already read this, so we'll skip it. And, uh, we'll just go through, basically, this is the tutorial mission. I really don't have to, and I think I read all of this, of course, too, with the uh, Edgar, and, yeah, anyway. Uh, and by the way, the voices are going to be differently, episode to episode, so sorry if the voices, like, sorry if you like the voices in part one, but, yeah, it's going to be all different. Alright, so first thing you have to do is press A, aka square or X. So, in fact, press square and then circle. If you're playing PlayStation, press X and then Y. Huh, like the like po like the Pokemon game if you're playing on Xbox, and you'll pass this uh, first part of the tutorial pretty easily. So there we go. That's that. Uh, yes, and you can read what's on the screen. You know, uh, a vertical attack is good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Some of this you just learn naturally. You know. Okay, press kick to perform a kick. Try hitting me with one. Now, actually, if you press forward, forward kick. Or four or four uh, circle or four or four B. It's actually an unblockable attack, Wataki. So let's do that. Four four B. Yeah, there you go. Most kicks are quick attacks. That is true. Uh, and really, I think kicks are most effective against vertical attacks. Just my opinion, but anyway. So yeah, now you press uh, A to uh, block or X if you're on PlayStation. So there you go. And now this is the key one is where you have to time it. Now basically, you have to pay attention to your opponent's move for the next part of this and do a, a, a time block. But anyway, uh, yeah. That's running, and, you, and I was actually running, like you notice I was backing up, but basically I was holding the, um, you know, this part of the controller. I'll just show you. I was holding this part, you know, all the way back. So, uh, that's also, you know, considered running. And that's a nice, you know, stab move. Yes, always a good idea to throw whenever you're close. That is true. Now, your opponent can always break out of your throw, but, yeah, kicks and throws are what I would advise if your opponent's close and just, just keeps wailing on you. Block, and then try to throw, and then block, and then try to kick. Yeah, now, this is the tricky one, guard impact. So, pay attention to his, to his, his strikes. So, he'll show you first. See, yeah, you repel, you have to time it, you know, with right or left, on the directional pad. In other words, you can't guard break with this. Like, you see this part, you know, the part that rotates, you cannot guard break with that, or guard impact. So that's the trick to guard impact, is you have to use the D-pad or the directional pad. So, there we go, we, we got it. Uh, yes, you will have a significant advantage, that is true. Alright, and the last lesson is Soul Charge. And with that, you basically press the top three. X plus Y plus B. Or if you're playing on PS2, square plus triangle plus circle. So, anyway, I'm going to do a throw right here just because we can. Just just for kicks. And now, I'll show you my strength. Uh, whoops. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Taki also has, like, special moves. Like, you saw me flipping around. Apparently it was registering X and Y, which is, and it was also registering Y and B, both of which are the flip moves. But yeah. Yeah, there we go. And we passed the first trial. Yay. Anyway. And yeah, we're just level one newcomers here. Extra practice. Oh, I love the theme. Like when you unlock something, like that triumphant fanfare. Oh, so good. I love this game. I run to a new stitch. Bullrock Ruins has opened. And oh, I didn't really say, but um, you know what? I'm actually not going to say. Uh, there's something I could spoil right now about these missions, but I'm not going to right now. Uh, for now, let's pick a, Let's go to the shop, actually. And we have 600 gold, you see? So let's buy... 
Let's buy Cassandra Spike Shield. Just so I can show you guys, yeah, Skill Chopper. Just so I can show you guys, okay. So now if you go to Character Select and choose Cassandra, now you can go to Weapon Select and choose the Spike Shield. Now what does this do? I think that means it has the ability to break guard, because you see the, uh, the, uh, like how it's red with the sword, and I think it has somewhat better defense. I don't know, each one of these has a, um, positive and, or, each one of these weapons does different things, but I'll do one video just completely explaining, like, all the weapons, everything they do for each character. That's gonna be a long, it might even be a three or four part video. But it will be, it'll be sort of a bonus episode. Um, and really, I can do that video anytime, because I'll also tell you, oh, you have to be in this region to buy that weapon. So it'll be quite a long, it might even be a 10 part, yeah, bonus episode, which will, it'll be fun though. Anyway, epic voice time, story time, have completed your basic training, you travel with it, go to the bent, broken grounds of the Bulwark Ruins. All right. Show me that full power of a youth! After a half day's walk, you will ride that crumbling rampart. <clears throat> this defensive wall was created during a war here in Rayless. At that time, this probing ground was built to train soldiers. Our predecessors claimed victory using the skills they honed in this place. Magnet, Titanic, we will try here with missions to honor that history! Hoorah! 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 Stop walking and gaze the best of the world. Sweet, it's enough with Empire Tinker. But, hehehe, <laughs> but there, there are many who cannot handle the tree and be satisfied with their half. Pfft, ha! Learn the skills only to need lifetimes, bandits, and thieves, and worms, and maggots. Ha! <laughs> Looks like they're what now come, they're come out to welcome us. You too were aware of the three figures that watched from a distance. Gritty. Edgar turned to you and said, <laughs> So that, so that, so that. I bet it's been a while since you had a chance to just go wild and show what you've got. With your training, Doroichi, these guys shouldn't pose any threat to you. <laughs> we'll just call this party that you're training too. Now it's time to get your game on. Let's do it. So basically, you just have to win. Very simple mission. I love it. Yes, ma'am. Is there no other way? Oh, there is. Trust me. Alright. So, what you'll see in this fight is actually more, uh, like, basic. You won't see many advanced moves, but you'll see, like, the basic, you know, sort of, uh, fighting style. Like, they won't use too many combos, but they'll use... You know, the horizontal, the vertical, and the, uh, yeah, and the kicks. Just pay attention, and my best advice for this is block. That's the best way to beat this mission on the first time. So, yeah, just block if you don't know combos. Now, I do know combos, you know, sort of with, uh, you know, Cassandra and um, others. But, yeah, just block, and you'll probably pass this mission pretty easily. Now, I didn't take my own advice. And I was pretty aggressive, so... Yeah, we'll do the mission again. With Cassandra. It's fine. Versus this way. But yeah, that's probably what I would advise for this one. So let's try my own advice. Block, yeah, and then attack. It's very simple. Um, of course, this is a let's play, so I want to do everything fast, but... I mean, the truth is... I really should do these fights as professionally as possible. So blocking, normally I'm not a guy who, you know, blocks much at all. Most of the time I'll just attack and I'll guard break, which throws people off. Because I'll mostly guard break and attack, you know, constantly. So it's very interesting to say the least. Uh, but let's see if I can do this move. Oh yeah! That's right. Step five times on the ground. Woo! <laughs> Okay. And I'll just let Cassandra do my outro. I will see you guys next time. <laughs> I love Maxi. He's so cool, man. Alright. We got Block. Yeah, take my own advice. Oh, he's not done. The thing about Maxi, too, is like... I don't know. It's like... It's sometimes difficult... Get off the stage! But like... 
Like, the most difficult thing about fighting Maxi is, like, it's hard to tell when he's done attacking. You know, because those nunchucks, man, is always fooling me. Anyway. Next mission time. Warrior's Trial. Now, I don't know if I have time for this. What's number we at? 20 minutes? You know what? Let me get a drink. Let me get a drink of, uh, ice-cold water before this fight. Ah, I feel like I've been talking non-stop. I just won't shut up. Like, oh my god. Shut up and play! Shut your mouth and get and fight! Alright, but anyway, let's... let's I'm just kidding. I'm just joking with myself, by the way. So we got a thousand gold, so let's see if we can get a weapon for Astroth. Yeah. The Warhammer. That's mainly, like... What I'm gonna do is basically get the weapons for the characters I'm best with, you know? Not really gonna focus on getting all the weapons for each character, which... Eventually I will, you know, when we get to post-game and stuff like that, but, yeah, for now, eh, mainly focus on Astroth. Alright, overcome the enemy to clear the trial. Pretty simple mission. The difficulty, oh yeah, and I never explained this, but as you see, like, each mission has a difficulty. Of course, here in the first stage, chapter one, it's pretty much all one stars. Um, but later you'll see some that are four and five stars. Team Four Star? Who's that? Oh my god! Who's Team Four Star? Your voice changed? That's impossible! Alright. <clears throat> After much rigorous training at the regular Strophy Grounds, it was time for your final challenge against Riza. <laughs> if you succeeded in passing this test, you'd be recognized as a full fledged warrior, a Super Saiyan. Will Goku defeat Riza? Well, they have 10 episodes worth of battles. The test consisted of combat between the disciples themselves. There were no restrictions and no special conditions. Oh, so this isn't you, you know. That each monster doesn't have a special ability. I'm not sure if I like that. <laughs> Only those who made good use of what they learned, like Gohan, and a rose victorious would pass the test of Piccolo. It would be a test of all your training. Attempting to control your rapidly beating heart, you stepped into the arena for the Cell Games. Your opponent was already waiting for you. <coughs> Matiso, I've been waiting, watching your progress for quite some time, Jorurichi. You were the opponent for my final test. Saying this, your opponent ready to do it. <coughs> I'll be fighting you with everything I've got. I expect no less from you. Now, it's time to do 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 And you get the awesome cut music like shine fire into a rain Love it. battle. Let's do this, Mitsurugi. S Mitsurugi Sensei. <laughs> That's right. Cry. That's my favorite opening line, by the way. Don't cry. Love it. Let's see if we can get a perfect on this guy. Why not? Perfect, man. Oh, the clock. Yeah. That's right. Slice strike. Alright, let's see if we can perfect him. Come on. Yeah! Woo! How about that, son? How about that? How's that, Mitsurugi Sensei? Is my training good enough? Yeah, is my training good enough, Sensei? And yes, this stage has been unlocked. Uh, mainly the stages are used in versus mode, so. Now, with that, we've fully completed a chapter. So, I think that's actually a great stopping point. Um, because that's a, that's a whole chapter. Um, or should I read, you know what? No, no, no. I think that's a great stopping point. So, actually what I'm going to do, guys, is, now, let me show you how you, um, save, or, yeah, so, don't, I'm not going to go to the next one, uh, but I will show you guys how to save. Uh, to save, like, it doesn't say here. Well, at least here on the 360. Um, it doesn't say, like, for an option to save. So you might be worried, oh no, like, what do I do? Like, well, it auto-saves. So basically, if you hit exit here, um, yeah, you'll see in the corner there, it's auto-saving. So, so with that, two. guys, I'm going to end this episode, and it's been almost a perfect 25 minutes. And I think that's a great point uh, to stop. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time in Soul Calibur 2. Uh, bye-bye.
Have a great weekend and a great day.